Hello and welcome to 12 Ball Plan TV. My name is Craig and today we will be discussing our Super Seal Connectors that you can see here. The Super Seal Connectors come with two housings. Here you can see our three-way. They do come in different types, all of which you will find on our website and a link will be in the description below. These can be bit tricky to assemble, so we're going to go through this together and show you how to get all sorted. The connectors themselves come with the terminals that you'll need, however you can buy spares if you need to. And again, links will be in the description below. And the seals are also available on our website should you need any spares. During this video we will use our brand new Super Seal crimping tool. And as you can see it's got a specially designed head to protect the seals from damage whilst we create the crimp. These are a nifty little piece of kit which has a tension adjustment and a manual release switch to help make the crimping process just that little bit more easy and manageable. Again, a link is in the description below and you can find it on our website after the video. The head itself is specially designed to help you create the perfect seal without damaging either the terminal or the seal. It has special grooves, which you can see here, which also help whilst placing the terminal for crimping and we'll show you how later on in the video. So to get started we're going to need our cable. These connectors can be used with either of our 0.5 mil squared all the way up to our 1.5 mil squared. And as you can see here we've picked an range of colours and again all descriptions are on our pick down below. The housing itself is our three-way as discussed earlier, so let's get started. Firstly, placing the terminal into the crimping tool, you're going to want to make sure that the large wings sit on the larger bevel on the crimping tool. You can do this just before you crimp the terminal, but firstly, we need to add the seal onto our cable. Pop this onto the end where you'll be attaching the terminal. This will save you a lot of time and effort later on when you're trying to create that crimp. We're using our automatic wire strippers. And again, these just help us get perfect amount of cable without damaging the copper. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have enough to fit into the two winged areas on the terminal itself, as you can see here. The head itself on the Super Seal crimping tool has got markings on it to let you know which die to use. Today we're going to be using the Super 2.8. This is the one to use with all our Super Seal connectors. Using any others will cause damage. It has some easy placeable markings and this makes it easier when positioning the terminal before crimping. It's a very nice and simple tool to use. As you can see here, you can grip the terminal itself before inserting the cable, making it a lot easier to position it in the right place before you make the crimp. The tool itself is simple. Squeeze until the tension allows you to release. Once done, the crimp has been made and it's a very nice, neat, strong crimp. Here again you can see we have gripped the terminal into the correct die hole and this one is our second terminal. And once again we will insert the cable whilst gripping it. And this just helps us 
make sure it's in the correct position. And again, we have strong connection with no damage to the seal itself, and it's a very neat connection. Once you've made the connection, you're going to want to grab your housing. Here you can see the anti backup device on the inside. And this is where our terminals will be going in on the back. You'll be inserting these terminals with the locking the wings down in this position. Again, you can download instructions from our website with pictures. When inserting the cable, make sure to keep your fingers as close to the seal as you can. This just prevents any cable bending. And once the seal is in, you can gently give it encouragement to lock into place using either a screwdriver or another blunt instrument. Be very careful not to damage the seal as this will make water come in. You should see the terminal pop out on the other side and then you just simply repeat the process. The locking wings create a stable connection and this just means that the cable can't fall out or be pulled out accidentally. Should the wick locking wings not engage, the cable will simply pull out and this will allow you to continue trying to push the cable into position. You will hear a click once the locking wings have clicked into place to make sure you listen out for that. With this connector, you're going to want to put the locking tab to the base up. And again, try and keep your fingers as close to the seal to avoid any bending of the cable. Carefully using the blunt instrument, again offer some encouragement to that seal to hopefully get it into place. As with the other side, you will hear a click once the terminal is all the way in, so keep a listen out for that. You can also test your connection by gently tugging on the cable and making sure it stays in position. Once all the terminals are in place on this one, you're going to want to push down the anti backout device. Using a table is quite a good method. Now with the second housing, you're going to want to lock the backup device also using a screwdriver just gently push on it until you hear a click and now I'm going to make this lock into place just by pushing down on it and this just allows you to create the connection and cables not to come out please note that if this red anti backup device is not fully in then your terminals must not be correctly inserted and you'll need to start again. You can see that the rubber seal forms a protective barrier protecting the connection terminals from dust and from water and the seals that went in with the cables protect them from that side also. As stated at the beginning of the video, we offer many different connectors, including our single weight connectors, which you can see here. All of them offer the same level of protection from dust and water, and offer a very strong yet stable connection. Easy to take apart, easy to assemble, waterproof and dustproof.
My name is Craig, you've been watching Firebolt Planet. Thank you very much. Feel free to subscribe.